Welcome to CorePy 6 lesson. In this lesson, we'll learn about the light sensor. What is the light sensor? A light sensor is a sensor that can detect the light in the room. More light or less light, and then we can create some actions. For example, if there is a lot of light in the room, don't turn on the LED. If there is less light in the room, turn on the LED, and so on. We'll learn how to use it. The light sensor usually has three pins. Data pin, positive pin, and negative pin. As you can see, the data pin is not typically a GPIO pin. This time we will use a protocol called I2C, which is a bus protocol. For using the I2C, the Raspberry Pi and the Crow Pi will take most of it. We will use API which is very easy to use and run an action to get the light amount. And then we can create simple tasks. If there is a lot of light, we can turn off the LED. If there is less light, we will turn on the LED and so on. Let's go into our Crow Pi and see how to work it out. All right, we are back into our Crow Pi. Let's take a look where the light sensor is located. The light sensor is located right here. It's so small that it's very, very difficult to see with the eye. But actually, if you cover this location where the label says light sensor, you'll be able to modify the light sensitivity. Either cover it with your pen or your hand, either turn off the light or turn it on to change the sensitivity of the light in the room. Now, let's go into our CrowPi folder. Go into our CrowPi folder and find the file called Light Sensor. Open it using the Python IDE. As soon as you open it, you'll see it's much bigger than the other files we had before. Let's start from the beginning and try to understand what it's all about. The first library we import is RPI GPIO library, which we already know about. The second library is a new library called SMBUS, which is the I2C protocol library, which will use it to read the data from the light sensor. The third library, as we know, is the time library. Then we have something called if GPIO RPI revision is 1, then set the SMBUS into 0, else set it to 1. What does it actually mean? Each Raspberry Pi is different. We have Raspberry Pi 1, 2, 3, 0, and so on. Each, each Raspberry Pi have different I2C drivers inside, and the design of the I2C are different. So we need to configure which is suitable for our Raspberry Pi. We don't need to do it manually, as the Raspberry Pi Python software script can do it automatically. Now, let's go down and see our class, Light Sensor class. Inside this class, there is a lot, a lot of code going on. We don't need to go through all of it, as most of it are commands to control the light sensor. But the most important for us to know is that the sensor is located in 5C. And then we have commands like power down, power on, and reset, which we're going to use to control the sensor and get information from it. Later, we have two functions called convert to number and read light. First, we use the read light command to get the light data from the sensor. But this data is, in, is not readable for our eye. So we use another function called convert to number to convert this data into a readable number that we can understand. Then there is our main function, which is the most important for us. We configure our sensor using the light sensor class. And after we have the sensor ready, we use a loop to read the light sensor sensitivity, print it, and sleep for half a second. And we keep doing it all over again until keyboard interrupted. Okay, let's run the script and see what happens. As you can see, we print here the light sensitivity. Currently it's 10 on 618. But what happens if we cover the sensor with a pen? You see, it's slowly going down to 200. If we cover with the whole hand all around it, it goes up to 9 or even lower. You can play with the sensitivity and see how low or how high you can go and configure to make your own application using it. For example, if the light turn off, then turn on the LED. If the light turn on, turn off the LED, and so on. What are you going to do with this? We can't wait to see it. See you in our next session. Thank you for watching.